If you have a walk-in shower, we recommend using a shower chair for your safety after a hip or knee replacement. If you do not have a shower chair, you may sponge bathe sitting by the sink. The shower chair should be placed inside the shower facing the shower head. Your caregiver should help you adjust the legs of the shower chair to at least the height of your knee or taller. Grab bars are also recommended for your safety while getting in and out of the shower. Do not hold on to a towel bar or soap dish for support. You're at risk for falling. Have your caregiver help you get in and out of the shower. Turn on a fan or keep the door open to keep your bathroom well ventilated. Use lukewarm water to avoid overheating or making yourself too tired. For this demonstration, the patient had her right hip replaced. Walk up to the shower with your walker. Turn around with your back to the shower while using your walker. Your caregiver should stand to the side with one arm behind you for support. While supporting yourself with the walker, step back into the shower with your non-surgical leg first. Then your surgical leg, being sure to clear your feet over the lip of the shower. The order for getting in the shower is the same as when you're climbing upstairs. In with the good leg first. Turn slowly in front of your shower chair so you can feel the chair on the back of your legs. You should use grab bars while doing this for safety. Reach your hands back for the chair and slowly lower yourself into sitting. Use a long handled sponge for washing your lower legs, feet, and back. Be careful to avoid bending or twisting your surgical hip while bathing. Move soap and sponges within reach so you don't have to twist or reach below your knees. A handheld shower hose is also helpful for getting clean without bending. Let soap and water run over your incis incision and bandage. No scrubbing. Before getting out of the shower stall, dry off as much as possible while sitting down. Pat the incision and bandage dry. Ensure the ground outside of the shower stall is dry to avoid slipping. Stepping on a non-skid mat is helpful for your safety. When getting out of the shower, scoot toward the edge of the shower chair, then push off the seat to stand. Turn your body to face the outside of the shower. You can use grab bars to do this safely. Your caregiver should position your rolling walker in front of you outside of the shower. While holding onto the walker, step out with your surgical leg first then with your non-surgical leg. The order for getting out of the shower is the same as when you're climbing downstairs, out with the bad leg. You are at risk for falling. Have your caregiver help you get in and out of the shower.